Uh, where is Ezra when you need him? I know, right? Is he can't be on here, man? He can't be on here. If Ez, if you was here right now, you could be able to control your brother because you've seen your brother more angry <laughs> than I have. Um, you saw when your brother is mad. I laugh. I get great jokes out of him uh. being mad. But um, this is one of those podcasts. Let me put like this before we get started. The last twelve hours, not even twenty four hours. The well, we could say eighteen, whatever. Yeah. This is one of them days when you got to thank, like, the <laughs> entertainment gods for saying, yo, we come in on the pod some days, Mike, and I'll be like, what you want to talk yeah, about? Yeah, we, we going talk back. About. It's like, bruh, back yeah. and forth, like, all right, okay, we could talk about this. Nobody cares about it, but it could be a filler topic. Or we could do this. This is one of them days where this morning Mike hit me up, said, it got to be now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we got we got, we got to drop the pod, man. <laughs> we got to drop the pod. So today. congratulations <laughs> to y'all. You getting a pod early. Um, we was going to do this later this week, but you wouldn't look. This is one of them topics that y'all not going to care about in two months. Yeah. Even though we still going to be arguing about it. Um, if you do not know, maybe you was like my wife who went to sleep last night. I went to o'clock. sleep last night. I woke up to like, I don't know. It had to be damn near 200 messages on yeah. my phone. I'm like, what the fuck happened? Right. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm on Facebook. <laughs> I'm in the bed. Everybody sleep. I'm in the bed. I get on Facebook in a sports group. This is a sports <laughs> group only. Man. Somebody goes, yo, Will Smith just smacked Chris Rock. And I don't know if they joking or playing. And so me being the intelligent gentleman I am, you know, I went to college. So what I do, run to Twitter. Because everything <laughs> on there is the truth. That's right. Twitter's always true. And I go on, go on Twitter. And it was amazing because people in other countries were um, apparently... For those not know, uh, we'll get into it, but Chris Rock made a joke about um, Jada Pickett, and Will did not approve of the joke, didn't like it, ran up on stage, slapped him, went back and sat down. But that was shown. What wasn't shown was Will kept yelling, keep my name out your fucking mouth. And he yelled it out yeah. twice. Sorry, Ma, for cussing. Um, <laughs> in other countries, that was shown. Yeah. So they confirmed Yo, we don't know if this is real or fake, but we do know he's still yelling in his seat <laughs> and it ain't looking pretty. And since then, I don't know how many of y'all have played Call of Duty, but being that this is the male's <laughs> podcast, I understand that a lot of us probably have. It has been Call of Duty on Facebook. It really has. And Instagram man. all day. Now, here we go. Mike, this is what we're going to do. We need to do who is wrong. And then we'll do who is right. All right. But let's go around the table. So, first of all, your first reaction was what when you first saw the initial thing? Okay. <laughs> all right. Before we go to that question. Okay. Video to play last week, The Simps. Ladies didn't like that video. They didn't. Um, like hey, I, you guys cannot take the definition of a simp meaning that me and a man being nice to a woman. All right. That is not the definition. We of, said that five episodes ago. <laughs> that, is not the, the that is not the definition. You can't change the definition. So I just want to address that. That is not what a simp is. Absolutely. We, and, you know, and we actually had a meme to talk about that, Will, but last night happened. So back to your question. Um, my first reaction was, <laughs> my, my first reaction was everybody else's first reaction. Like, is this staged? Absolutely. Right? Cause he walked up real, real slow. Real and chill. It, yeah. And then, you know, he just, he just smacks him, and then he walks off. So I was like, you know, is that part of the show? Now, I do not watch award shows at all. Not at None. all. None. Like, no award shows. Like, I watched Billions last night, then I went to bed. Okay. So, <laughs> I, I, I didn't even notice until this morning. So, my first reaction was, I like, guess it's real. And then when I saw it, I was like, okay, well, then I had to go and be like, okay, well, what, what was said? Like, what, yeah. what precipitated all this? So, to go and check it out, you know, and look at what Chris Rock said. Because Chris Rock was saying, like, um, the the husband and wife, I think they were both up for Oscars. Mm -hmm. And then he made the joke about Will and Jada, or about, uh, I guess, Will and Jada. Mm -hmm. So I didn't I didn't see the joke as being, it's not the worst Chris Rock joke that I've seen, right? Like, someone, like, my favorite comedians, you know, is David Chappelle, mm -hmm. um, 
DL Hughley. Okay. You know, and Bernie Mac, right? Okay. Like those are like my favorite communities. DL hasn't been good in a long time, so apologies, but his old stuff is good. <laughs> but <laughs> like those are like my favorite comedians, okay. right? So I'll like, say inappropriate shit. Yeah. I, so I'm so I'm used to inappropriate shit. But I've watched all the Chris Rock specials, right? I, mm-hmm. You know, I watched Chris Rock when he made the joke of, you know, Martin Luther King Boulevard, right? Yeah. I've watched Chris Rock when he's made the joke about uh OJ and Anna. I think that was her name, and Nicole. I can't Nicole. remember her name. But anyway, he was like, you know, the joke of, you know, I ain't saying he should have did it. Yeah. But I understand, right? And and, and every, so it's like that was light for Chris Rock. Absolutely. So as someone that that loves the art of comedy, I actually in, in college, I actually uh, got on stage in the comedy show. Oh gosh. And got booed off. I got stage. Please right. find I hope that, that footage. Video. I hope that I hope that video is Yo, dead, dead, dead. I will pay whatever it takes. You get free photo shoot for life. <laughs> Find me the video, please. But, but, but so the thing about, so I, I respect the art. Absolutely. So watching that as someone that, you know, in their heart of hearts, it's like T.I., right? Like, I'm, you know, I, I, I want to be a comedian. If I could yeah. be anything, if I have any job in the world, it would be a comedian. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't think it, I didn't, it was off color, but I didn't think it was as bad as, as what it came turned. off. Absolutely. Now, that's me as an outsider. Okay. It's not talking about me. This okay. is also someone that lost their hair, right? Uh-huh. That, 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 so it's like, so for me, that may not have been offensive. But for people that suffer because it's an autoimmune disease, for mm-hmm. people that suffer from um, alopecia, alopecia uh-huh. I understand that that could be a sensitive topic. Absolutely. All right. So who was wrong at that moment? It was only Chris Rock. Absolutely. At that moment, there's one person that was wrong. Chris Rock, that's it. And you got to be able to read the room. Got to be able to read the room. We talked about that. Yes. This is a life, this <laughs> podcast is a life lesson of our previous podcast. It really is. Like, 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 I mean, but it's, so we, we're, we're going into this ideal of, you know, being a man, right? Absolutely. And masculinity. And at this point, Chris Rock is wrong. Read the room, bro. Yeah. But everybody, everyone did laugh, except Jada. Jada. Because Will was giggling. Yeah. Will giggled at first, right? <laughs> Not and this doesn't absolve Chris Rock from the joke. It's Mm-mm. still it's still a bad joke. You talk yeah. about somebody they don't take it well. That's gonna fall back on you. Absolutely. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure Chris Rock knows Will Smith and Jada. Like on a personal Pers- level, you got to in in those type of rooms. Yeah, you have to. And you know what was was crazy? In twenty hindsight is always twenty twenty. And maybe once we get the Will and Jada, we maybe they see it like this, and maybe the world see it like this. Let's say it ended right there, right? Yes. Let's say Will does a press release later and goes, hey, you know, uh, or Jada does and say, hey, you know, I got his jokes. Unfortunately, I'm going through a health condition. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, Chris Rock, something's going to happen to him. Yeah. What's what's happening is, yo, we might you might need to research. We might need to see your jokes. Yeah. Maybe you don't host the Oscars anymore, especially, you know, maybe you got advocacy groups coming out against him. But. Guess what? It didn't stop. It didn't there. stop. It didn't <laughs> stop there, right? So one of the things that 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 I often say is, is that your foresight has to become better than your hindsight. Mm. Like that's the maturity level of a man. Your, your foresight, the way you have to see what can happen. And, mm-hmm. and here's the thing: as someone that 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 <laughs> studies the art of, of comedy, I know that Chris Rock went through every joke about Will and Jada that he had in his head. And he thought this was the easiest one. Absolutely. <laughs> right? Like, one like, that people would get. Yeah, one that people would get. One, one they wouldn't be too mad at. One that not too <laughs> offensive. Nothing about what everybody else is always talking about. Because I'm going to tell you what, also what we're not going to do today. We're not going to talk about Jada at all today. Because today, oh. Oh, this, is, this is going to be Will Smith and Chris Rock. We're not. We're not. Because that's too, it's too easy to create a straw man argument where we want to blame her. For the behaviors of Will. Now, I'm not saying I'm not saying that she didn't have a role. She obviously had a role because that's why Will went on stage. But it's too easy. See, if we do, if we did that today, okay, it'll make it too easy for anyone to listen to this podcast and then to say you guys are talking about Jada. Nah, we well, don't talk about Jada today. Well, we are misogynistic, according to yeah, according, according to everybody that listens. No, we're going <laughs> to talk about Will and Chris Rock today. Okay. So, so back so back to your question. If it stops there, mm-hmm. if it stops there, we actually. We're actually talking about Will Smith winning the Oscar <laughs> because we ain't, we're we're not even discussing the fact that the man won his first Oscar last night. Yeah, that the man has won a Grammy mm-hmm. and has won an Oscar. That I'm pretty sure that's not a long list of individuals. Mm-hmm. Uh, Beyonce been caping for an Oscar for like twenty some years. A Grammy and an Oscar, and yep. it's like 
as men, right? Like mm-hmm. that that's such a that's such a momentous achievement. And we're not even discussing it because of the behavior of a mm. man, right? Because of his behavior. Now, go ahead with the next point. So, all right. You're offended. What goes through Will Smith's mind um, of what's happening, right? So you're sitting there, and now we got to look at who's wrong. Because now Will says, all right, the joke isn't funny. Yeah. Now he's looking at it like, shit, I'm right here in the front. And I'm in the front, and the camera keeps panning to me. Well, he's in the front, and the camera keeps panning to him because everybody knows he's about to win an Oscar. Absolutely. So that's going to happen. Like, this is his night. Absolutely. So you, you got to know you win it. You have to know that you win it. And then, and, and here's the thing. Everyone has to understand that this, this night has to be about that. This night has to be about the black man that has won a Grammy, mm-hmm. winning an Oscar. That has to be the message, right? Absolutely. If you don't have the discipline to stay within the confines of that area, you are undisciplined. And what? last night we saw a prime example of undisciplined. Now look, all the hate I've been getting today is because I <laughs> I have not defended Will. And I will not defend Will. And I, but I also have not defended fucking Chris Rock. Absolutely. They were wrong. Everybody last night was wrong. One person was more wrong than the other person. Absolutely. All right. You can you can vary that opinion, but what we're not gonna do is applaud a man causing assault for a wife's honor that she Here we go. We <laughs> that she <laughs> may not have even cared for according to the red table talk. Well, all right. So Will goes on stage, he slaps his man, and he runs back, he goes sit down and he starts screaming. And apparently there was a cut scene. Tyler Perry came over. And, you know it's bad when Tyler Perry and Denzel gotta come to your black ass <laughs> at this white ass event and go, yo, you gotta relax. You know what I'm saying? And they talking him off of a ledge. That, yo, this is your night. You still got to go get this your is, award. Th- still got to get your award. You got re- This is your night. And, and then, you know what made me mad? A little break between the other, th- before we get back to it. This is the night where Will Packer is the first person to produce, you know, a man of color. To, he's producing the Oscars. Bruh, don't even get me started on that. Do not get me started on the fact that they sullied. Yeah. <laughs> they sullied a momentous fucking occasion, bro. Bro, you got Will Packer, a fam you grad, and I've seen everybody. For those who I know, my family is from Tallahassee. Fam you is literally three miles away from my grandparents' house, right? So I see everybody that has went to fam you, that think they went to fam you, that look, that like the fam you colors. Everybody is posting like, yo, Will Packard is doing this. I'm so happy to so excited. Then I got another group of women DMing me, texting me, letting me know that Beyonce is killing it. And then I'm like, okay, cool. Then I start seeing who's there. Then we find out that Samuel Jackson gets his first um, Oscar as well. Which was presented from Denzel, which didn't even make the fucking TV screen. <laughs> but that's a whole nother subject. So I'm hearing about all this because I'm not watching it as well. And then you get this text that Will goes up here and he acts out because, yo, he's defending black women. And 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 this is and this is what's this is this is what's annoying is, you know, Samuel, Will, Will Packard, right? Mm-hmm. This is our night, right? Yeah. And no one had the discipline. To get through that night, right? And I'm there. There, there will be no hand claps for no. what Will did last night. If you call my mom a name, yeah. right? I am going to address you as a man. Absolutely. Like we can't sit on this podcast and say real powers restraint. We can't sit on this podcast and say you know we have to understand to use our minds. Instead of using our hands. Mm-hmm. And then the moment something involves us, we lose all our fucking senses and then we want to go up there and smack somebody. Yeah, so, right? <laughs> we, can, we, cannot, we, we cannot do that, man. Part of being a man is the discipline of being a man. If Will go to commercial break, if Will goes up there to that stage and he goes to Chris Rock, he was like, hey, Chris, I don't know if you know this, but my wife suffered from alopecia, right? This is not intentional. That joke, Hurt her feelings, and in return, that hurts me. Yeah, you said the joke publicly. I'd appreciate if you make a public apology, so I don't have to address it when I come up here to accept my award at the end of the show tonight. Absolutely, right? If he says that to Chris, I am almost certain that Chris comes back on after commercial break and was like, "Hey, made a joke, did not know that. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, apologies to you, Jada. 
my bad, right? Absolutely. That right there is more important than Will walking on stage, smacking Chris Rock. Just to let y'all know, we never going to get a live Grammy uh, show ever again. <laughs> Besides, um, like this is Well, dumb. you'll get it. It'll just be delayed 30 seconds. Or probably longer. It just yeah. reminds me about the time when, um, who was they? They was roasting Justin Bieber. Bieber, excuse me. And um, I don't think it was Pete Davidson, but it was somebody else who went up there and they started talking about Paul Walker and Ludacris was on the... Um, Paul Walker had just passed, like yeah. literally a few months before. And somebody made like a crash and burn or some type of reference to him passing, right? Yeah. And I remember they cut that part out the show. And I remember Ludacris went to Twitter and was like, uh, it was hella disrespectful. Like yeah. I was I felt disrespected. You know, this is somebody I've been working with for a decade plus. Like he was a brother to me, whatever. They cut that out. It didn't make it. Only reason why we knew about it is because it was too many celebrities in the room, yeah. too many publicists. It was bound to get out, and then Ludacris made it public. This remind me of last night of like that. Now, I want to get to the big elephant in the room because why we're not here, um, why we're not here to talk about Jada because, yo, in all, to be honest, she just sat there. Didn't move, didn't well, speak, didn't react. She said something to Will that got him up on that stage. Well, you know what that was. I, so, <laughs> so, 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 so I, I don't, I don't know what she said. August, I would love to know what she said. August is texting me. No, <laughs> I, 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 you know, but here's the thing. I don't even blame Jada for the, for the for the cheating, bro. I don't, I don't care. If Will don't care, I don't care. If, if, if a man has that, if a man has that kind of heart, to where it's, if if that happens, and I know people say they were separated, yada yada. They've always had rumors of having an open relationship. Yeah. If Will can withstand all this, all these things, then shit, I'm with Will on that. I'm a Will Smith fucking fan. I watch Wild Wild West, goddamn it. Yeah, I never seen that. Like, <laughs> I I'm a Will fan, right? Yeah, but what like I, but I what robot. but what I'm not a fan of is that on a night that a black man is producing the short, that Samuel's winning the Oscar, that Will the guy has won a Grammy is winning the Oscar, Beyonce that, killing it. Yeah, what 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 I don't like is that. I, there's two issues, right? Okay. You know, could Will have handled this better, right? Question number one. Issue number one. Second issue is everyone is online today to say that he did the right fucking thing. You, if you, if Jada grabs Will hand and says, "But no, baby, just go up during the break," right? Yeah. To me, that says everything because at this point, will he work in Hollywood again? Like, can you can you go to the <laughs> Oscars, assault someone? And he's still working Hollywood. This is going to be a real valid question. I don't think he. I don't think he is. Not is Will rich? Does he have enough money? Sure, but has acting seemed to be Will purpose? Yes. I don't. I. I think the Will is unraveling as a black man that take other black men's mental illness seriously. Oh, oh. I, I. I think the Will Smith is unraveling. Absolutely. And I think. But, and, I, and and I think that too many people are celebrating the bullshit instead of really looking at this man and saying, "Are we looking at Robin Williams?" Right? Mm. Are we looking at that? Is that what we're seeing right now okay, with so Will Smith? We got to address the, the elephant in the room is this. Um, in we, It happened in our group chat. Somebody said, hey, in a month, this might not be. We're not going to be talking about this. Um, and I tend to agree. Timing doesn't matter. Will we be talking about this in six months, a year from now? No, we won't. Unless it goes further, which in all intents and purposes, me and you both agree that that's, that's where this is going. Yeah. Now, what we will be talking about in six months Black men and women still will be fighting about this bullshit right here. So we yeah. got to address this elephant in the room of, if we're being honest, you have men agreeing with women collectively has said, hey, Will was right. He was protecting black uh, women, a black woman and protecting black women. This is what we want. And in turn, some men are just like, yo, like it wasn't that. Chris was disrespecting a black woman, even though y'all might see it as that. But, yo, you don't handle this like this. And especially, and I'll be honest with y'all, my thing, I've been saying it all day, was like, yo, your wife been embarrassing you at every turn she get. <laughs> to me, and I know we ain't going to talk about Jada, but yeah. I've said it plenty of times on this podcast. Yo, the August thing, I find that funny. I think she's a predator. I've called her that on this podcast. Um, I thought, and to be fair, she never announced that she was messing with August. August did that. And August we, did that, and right? And we call August a clown. Yeah, he's, he's a like, clown. Yo, what are you like, doing? keep your mouth shut. Shut up. Just You just got to shut up. Yeah. Then and I tell y'all, every week, every day that ends with a Y, she was reminding us that she loves Tupac. That's a whole nother subject. The kids, they out there. And then she get on this dog on t at this table that's red, and she loves to sit down and stretch and reach. So my thing is, yo, your wife has been embarrassing you. Now, if you say, yo, we've... 
if on Wednesday you decide to slap somebody because on Monday you say, hey, we got our house in order. We moving in a different direction. Yeah. Cool, bro. You got to live with what comes with that, which may be. You definitely ain't winning shit again. You definitely, <laughs> we, we definitely got to be mindful. We invite somebody, invite you there, um, and you might not work again. I think you may. I think it's going to take some time. I think Will needs to protect himself. But let's get to this notion. Men are, not, like, this whole thing of not protecting black women, it's actually disgusting because I look at it, and I said to somebody today, I think I even wrote in our group, if I'm LeBron James and Katie, I'm wondering where all this care about black hair came from. Because... <laughs> Every week, y'all clown KD about his hair. Yeah. And if I had to guess, he's definitely suffering from something with his hair. It ain't that ain't just naps. Yeah. Like, let's just keep it real. Um, LeBron, you know, like look, when women, when y'all get upset, I know y'all listen, even though y'all don't want to. When you get upset about a man, you pick at his hair and his height. Yeah. <laughs> so now somebody else made a joke, whether it was insensitive, wrong, whatever. Cool. We that's up for debate. And we've started this podcast with like, yo, the joke. It was off. It was it was an off color joke considering yeah. her condition, Absolutely. right? Like that, that, that nobody that, knew about. Yeah, that, well, she she did do it on the, on the, on her show, but no one watches. And the nobody show. watches the show, so no one really knew about it. The fact that y'all are going around right now saying, "Yo, he could have known this if he would have googled her." I promise y'all, for two men up here, that. It's not as busy as Chris Rock or yeah. as rich as Chris Rock. I, we did not know. I, I had no clue. A lot of y'all did not know. Yeah, I had no clue. <laughs> I had no clue. But to that question of of, of protectionism. So uh, I was talking to a good friend this morning, and she made the inference that, you know, oh, well, I guess you wouldn't protect me, right? Mm -hmm. And this is despite the fact that they, I've, I've, I've came through her for, for her. I've came through for her before. She just came through for me before, right? Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, it triggered her. Uh, mm -hmm. I let that conversation die, right? But I, I'll give you guys a story. Another one of my really good friends, um, she was at her brother's wedding, right, yeah. um, years ago. And at her brother's wedding, she's back in her hometown. She ended up seeing somebody that knows her. She's married. And one of the guys that knew her made an off-color joke to her in front of her husband. Mm. And he snapped, like, just like this, right? Like, yeah. He, 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 he wants to get at this dude. Yeah. She grabs him, and she's like, hey, 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 not at my brother's wedding. Yeah. Right? Like, she stops him. Not at my brother's wedding. Yeah, it's a time and like, place, Like, it's a bro. time and place for this. This is not a time and place, yeah. right? That was her role. Um, one of the things I always say is that, you know, when it comes to a woman, I want a woman like Abigail. Now, Abigail, if y'all don't remember this, y'all should, because y'all went to Bible school. Mm. <laughs> so, um, when David came upon the lands of Nabal, David asked, could he feed his troops and could they, could they re receive rest and water? Nabal, who's Abigail's husband at the time, says no. Foolishly mm -hmm. says no. And David was like, well, I asked. I can actually take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but before he was allowed to take it, Abigail went out there with the servants from the house, and she gave them water, and she gave them food, and he put the sword away. Mm -hmm. All right? This, this, this is how a woman covers her husband, bro. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is the point that I'm trying to make, is that it is, the, it, it is the, the husband's job to protect the wife, but it's also the wife's job to cover the husband. As men, a lot of what we're complaining about when, when we want to have that conversation of the sirens that exist is that sirens do not cover their husband. They do not keep that husband from the danger. Nabal was about to walk himself directly into the sword of David. Absolutely. He was about to walk himself directly into danger, right? Being arrogant. And sometimes, right, like with my homeboy, excuse me, my homegirl and her husband, right? He was about to walk himself into the embarrassment. They would talk about that to this day mm -hmm. if that man had gotten in a fight at her brother's wedding Bruh. for protecting and defending his wife's honor. His wife had to say, hey, no. Not today. Not today. Not the time and the place. A woman's job is to be the husband's covering. All right, look. I, I don't know what women want to do anymore, right? I, the, we, we, we know the role of men. Let's not even go there today because I, I, I don't want this podcast to be taken off topic. <laughs> the role of a man is to provide, protect, and prepare. All right? At some point, someone has to say what the other side's role is. We're not going to talk about that today. However, <laughs> what we will talk about is, is that if Jada grabs Will's hand and say, hey, baby. Not today. Not today. Right? Not, not at the moment where Will Packard is producing. The Oscars. Not at the moment when Samuel L is winning an Oscar. Not at the moment when you're winning an Oscar, right? To me, that is more impactful 
than him walking on stage and assaulting a man for, excuse me, committing a crime in yeah, front of a say. thousand cameras. All right. Yeah. Like to me, that's not the move. That's not the soundest move. You cannot convince me that as a black man, that's the best thing for him. You can't. Absolutely not. Um, my the saddest part about all this is I look at it and I go, um, I don't want to sound like a dick. The saddest thing is watching this and seeing people who don't get protected in their main life run to this as, yo, this is protected. This is what I look for. This is what I want. And I'm getting tired of black women being the poster child for certain things. Um, I.e. Uh, Debbie Daz, I.e. Uh, you know, welfare. Assault. I. E. You know, like they, yes. they, 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 you're right, right? They, because, they parade them out because it's the villainization of the black man. All the white people, so, you know, how many times you've seen them post about this today? None. Exactly. <laughs> and that's what I mean. I mean, they're posting the memes now, like the yeah, Batman. The, oh, the memes and, are funny. Yeah, the Batman memes. But like seeing them complain about, talk about black hair. Um, to see them talk about, yo, that was assault. Oh, I'm not protected. That, like that shit is sad, man, because I'm watching people and it's all the broken women. I feel bad for saying this. Um, it's a lot of broken women in broken relationships. And for those saying how you know what's going on in your house, y'all put everything on Snapchat, Instagram and Facebook yeah. just to give y'all a heads up. It's, it's weird to me, and we talked about this on the pod, and I, I want, I'm going to bring this up when we do our review pod. We talk about all the time how women go on dates, and it's almost like, yo, I can't figure out if this dude is into me or is he stalking me. And it's because I put so – they don't understand it's because they put so much of their personal yeah. information in different areas that I can piece the perfect date for you yeah. for the first 10 dates. And I, don't, I don't, and I don't know if you, if you really like me for me or if you just, you know. Yeah, and so I look at that, and I'm looking at all these women who – either have issues with their 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 own father, their baby father, their brothers, the male at work. And it's all, we got to protect black women. And then you got to realize, like, A, she wasn't in danger. Chris Rock, is he, do he look corny attacking, and I'm going to use that word with air quotes, a black woman on a public white forum? Sure, but guess what? When Kanye getting clowned, nobody says nothing. When Will was sitting at that <laughs> table like a dumbass with them red ass eyes, yeah. nobody said anything. There's a meme right now with Tyrese, and we talked about this, Tyrese, yeah. Will, yeah. Uh, Kanye, and all about them dealing with mental health issues. And then my thing is, um, and Charlamagne played a good point. I'm actually played a video, but um, I'm played part of it probably. But it was funny. If you go listen to Charlamagne on Breakfast Club, he said, yo, that slap was such a small part of his main, a uh, Will's bigger issue. He's like, I hope he go find out what's wrong. Yes, and 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 that's the and that's where we at. And this, but the thing is, it's not even a conversation that we can have right now, right? Because mm -hmm. it's been this conversation have been purposed as, well, y'all don't. If you don't think that you should run up on stage and smack a man for what he says about your woman, you're not protecting black women, right? Like holding on to my income is is a protection, right? Holding on to my freedom is a protection, right? And I'm and I'm not gonna let us run back to the enslavement. Of, of Africans as if that's a, that's a reason why two black men can lash out at one another, excuse me, one black man can assault another black man. One Part of our problem is our history is so rich and so deep that we don't even understand that the enslavement of Africans is not even part of our of our grand total of our history. Nah, it's only a fraction. It, 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 it's, not, it's, it's so much of a fraction. We're talking about 200 years of enslavement and 100 years of an apartheid. That, that we feel that that identifies us. No, we, we live in those circumstances, but our history is so much deeper than that, mm -hmm. so much richer than that, right? You could go back to, to the Mali Empire. You could go back beyond that to, to Kemet, to the Nubians, to the Egyptians, right? Like, there's so much of our history and where we showed restraint, mm -hmm. where we showed the ability to reason, Right. It goes back to the quote. If you want to if you want to go fast, go by yourself. But if you want to go far, you go together. Right. Mm. The game of chess was created all right, by our people. Right. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and the game of chess, the king and the queen can both go wherever they want. But the queen can do more. Absolutely. Whoop pa your ass. On part that. part of understanding <laughs> that is there's so much more that can be offered that if you sit here and think that a man assaulting another man on camera, right? Like, we'll have, we'll have turned a night that that should have been a celebration of his goatness into a night that we're talking about his assault 
and 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 if you and if you are a black man that care about black men, you are actually concerned about Will's mental well being. I said it earlier, man. Like um, Robin Williams was actually one of my favorite actors, which is why you know it, it, that stuck with me. Yeah. Is that up until that point, I, I never, I never, I never knew anything was wrong. Absolutely not. right. I never knew anything that was wrong. Absolutely. And, and I'm looking at Will, and I'm like, yo, this man has been through a lot. Crying. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't. You know, I never thought that, damn, something may be wrong. I thought I thought he was handling. I thought he was mm -hmm. okay. Last night kind of showed me that he wasn't okay. Absolutely. Right? And, and and us celebrating a man that could be breaking down, a man that could be unraveling, us celebrating his break, it just doesn't rest well with me. It bothers me. And when I see people that, that, that post and quote, I'm going to be honest with you. Most of y'all are going to be unfriended by the end of the year because that kind of <laughs> negative energy, like I'm not going to do it today because it'll be obvious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that kind of energy, man, like to, to, like to, cel to celebrate a man going up there, like, he, man, he, he could have been arrested. He could have a mug shot. He could be getting sued. You know, Chris, Chris Rock went from being the bad guy to the bigger guy. Mm -hmm. Will had more to lose last night than Chris. Absolutely. Will is the richer person. R Will is the person that that more matters, right? Absolutely. And now for whatever protection that everyone felt that he was doing, like I asked one of my homegirls this morning, I said, comedians running the click. I said, so do you think that they about to crack less jokes or more jokes now? It's about to get rough for Will. So probably, they're probably about to crack more jokes now. And that for someone that may be unraveling, right? Like, cause I, cause I empathize with the brother. I, I don't want him to be arrested. I'm glad that Chris Rock did not press charges. I wish it was an opportunity for the two of these men to, to, to make up. I, and, and you know what? Though? It's still not too late. No, it's not. It, it, it's still not too late. But, but, hours. Yeah. But, but I, but I know that like, yo, like Chris Rock is dealing with a, a huge issue right now. Like in the black community, it's just three things that you don't do, right? You don't call us niggers. Yeah. You don't spit at us. Yeah. And you don't smack us. Yeah. Right. Because these are all the places where we could not respond for 350 years in this country. Yeah. It's disrespectful. It, it, it's disrespectful. And the fact that he did that, I know that Chris Rock as a black man today is dealing with that. Right. Like Chris Rock is having to go before, go between, I really want to get this motherfucker mm -hmm. and I was wrong. Yeah. Right. He's going back and he's going back and forth between those two places today. The right thing to do would be for these two brothers to have a kumbaya yeah. and to address this, right? Like yeah. to sit down and have a, have a place to address this, but to 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 turn this now into a a protectionism thing and to have and, and to actually have women that men protect on a daily basis be able to say, "Yo, if you don't agree with me, you're not protecting me." This is a fucked up day in society right now, and this is a fucked up day in the black community right now. Like mm -hmm. I, I'm looking at a lot of people a lot differently. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people looking at me a lot differently. Right. I know y'all like, don't like me. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? That goes two ways. And it's like, all right, what's the right thing to do? Right. Like, you know, we always ask, what does a win look like? Mm. Right. When Will went up there and smacked Chris, was that a win? Is, are, are we saying as a community, that was a win? Is that what we saying? Mm. Cause I don't see that as a win. I do not see a brother walking on stage of a show that a brother's producing for the first time on the night the two brothers are getting their first Oscars and making that all about that cir that circumstance, I don't see that as a win. If you see that as a win, then you and I have a fundamental difference in what wins look like in our community. That's all I'm saying. That's all I got. And I what? held back a lot today. I ain't gonna lie. I <laughs> held back. <laughs> to put it in perspective, y'all, um, Mike walked in on 10, and I was just like, I. Right. <laughs> nope, I'm not recording yet. Yep, I'm recording. All right, we're not recording. Um, my biggest thing is, uh, just to close it out, I'm hoping somebody, like you said, get them on the phone. Um, and I hope our community find a way, um, to get on the same page, because when they make up next week, next month, next year, what we gonna be doing? And I'm talking about black men and black women. Where are we going to um, be as a community? Where are we going to be at? Because that's the bigger thing. Because um, these two brothers going to be fine. They got the money. If Will says, hey, I don't want to do another movie again in my life, he'll be fine. Yeah. You know, if Chris says, yo, I'm never going to host the Oscars again because, you know, whatever, he'll be fine. And I'm pretty sure Chris working for the Oscars and him getting assaulted at work, I'm sure he'll <laughs> be fine. You know what I'm saying? Um, and But... What won't be fine is us and our hope that we, if we say we care about 
people's mental health, especially black men. Who do they talk to when they vent, need to vent and stuff? Um, I hope we find time to come together and make this shit work. Please do. Um, with that, I want to thank Mike for not cutting up. <laughs> um, I want to thank Mike. Look, I need y'all to do me a favor. Make sure you follow the podcast, subscribe, like, everything else. Um, please check out the Paid and Exposure podcast. That's my photography podcast because later this week, I will be discussing a photographer who is charging big women, plus size women, an extra $100 a shoot. And I know y'all going to kill me for that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're going to holler at y'all next time. Holler at your boy.